A very happy Jason Day, everyone. It's time for Friday the 13th. What's your favorite scary movie? Hey, guys, me, your host, Super Soul. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got. It's the Friday the 13th Part 2 action figure from NECA. Now, this is the Part 2 figure. So this is Jason's first appearance, technically, in the Friday the 13th franchise. In Friday the 13th Part 1, we only see Jason as a young boy at the very end reaching up into the boat at the very end however this is jason in the part two of the movie where we finally get to see jason and mrs Voorhees is dead and camp crystal lake is shut down but a camp next to the infamous place is stalked by an unknown assailant jason <laughs> Guys, let's jump in and take a closer look at this awesome looking action figure. It's Friday the 13th. Th 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 try that again. It's Friday the 13th. There's no better day to unbox a Jason. Do you agree? First off, got to say, loving the artwork on the box there. That is such a cool picture. And if I just scroll up a little bit, you can see the body count continues. Oh, yes. Friday the 13th, part two. Again, we've got a nice little shot on the side there, and on the back we've got all the little pickies. And this is the main reason for wanting this one, to be fair. It's the Pamela Voorhees head. Now, they did release a Pamela Voorhees Necker figure, but she's from the Retro Collection, and she's very hard to get hold of. But I'm, I'm desperately trying to get hold of one to go with the rest of my collection. So it would be cool to actually have a Pamela... Uh, like I said, a Pamela Anderson, a Mrs. Voorhees, a Pamela Voorhees. Uh, but this is really cool, because it... it <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, this set also comes with the um, machete, pitchfork, pickaxe, knife, spear, campfire, and the head, and the interchangeable Jason heads. So we do get a couple of looks and things for Jason as well. Now, let's jump straight in and open this bad boy, because I'm excited to rip this one open. Alright, let's get the scissors and get into this one. Scissors! Trusty snip snips. Ugh, and let's get in. Here we go. So yeah, I've been dying to get this one for a little while. I've had this one in, my, in and out of my basket on um, uh, on uh, Amazon for a while. And I will leave a link in the description um, where you can pick one up for yourself. Now, it is an affiliate link. So that does mean that you're supporting the channel if you're choosing to buy through that link. But that would be very awesome. It doesn't cost you anything extra to support me. It just means that uh, Amazon share a percentage of the sale with me, which is a great way of giving back to the channel. Because I've never really asked for donations. I don't really have a Patreon or anything like that. Uh, my All my kind of money for the channel comes from you guys wa you know, watching the videos. So Ugh. it would be great if you could... Support the channel any way you can, and one of the one other great way of supporting the channel, guys, while I'm unboxing this, is by um, sharing, liking, viewing, commenting, just interacting with my videos any way you can. We're almost at fifty thousand followers, which is amazing. I'm really excited by that. Can't wait to hit fifty k because I do have a giveaway planned at fifty k, and it is a sponsored giveaway, uh, so that is going to be really cool as well. And there's so much coming up on the channel that you're just not going to want to miss out on. It's going to be awesome. So if you are new around here, please do so. Right, almost there now. We're just getting a Pamela head out. The knife. I love these sets when you get like a Jason and stuff. Because they always come with so many weapons from the movie. And then they're good to use with other characters. Like there's a great big carving knife here that would look great in Michael's hand. And it's got a bit more wear on it than the one that Michael's got. Um, the Michael Myers ones always seem to either come with blood on them or just be completely clean. Which I know in the movies they're always a bit, you know, it's a shiny new knife from the drawer. But um, it would be cool to have some, some weathered looking ones as well in his hand. Especially with the um, 2017 version of Michael. Right, anyway, enough about Michael, it's Jason's day. Jason will get very upset with us in a moment if we keep talking about Michael. But here we go, we've got a box. You know what time it is, guys. Everyone loves this moment, apparently. This is what people tune in for, apparently. We're going to give it a big old yeet. See a box. Right. I don't keep boxes around here, guys. As you know, I unbox things so you don't have to. Right. We have a Jason fresh out of the packaging, and he looks awesome. I love the bag head Jason, that classic-looking original Jason before the hockey mask. When he was just a baghead killer. <laughs> but I, I like the fact that he got one eye hole as well. 
That's very cool. Uh, so yeah, they're very cool with the dungarees and stuff. Very nice looking fig. Um, plenty of articulation. The usual stuff on here it is a bit of an older necker figure now. So it is a little bit uh, different, but we do have the swivel that tilts and pivots. The arms lift up at the side and rotate. Single hinged elbows, hands on, hit on hinge joints. The head obviously doesn't really do much because of the bag, but you can move it left and right and that just pops on and off. You can move his legs forward all the way. Usual, It's a usual necker hinge here that you're used to, so they all just push forward. And the cloth, the, the, the actual dungarees part here is made of a soft vinyl. So when you push that up, it's just going to stretch it up that little bit. And then you can bend the knee there, also rotate, and the feet are on little pivot joints. And he does have display pickles, should you wish to use a display base. Not that you're going to need to, he's very sturdy actually from, from the box. I've got him to stand straight away, no problems. Now some of the cool reasons to grab this set, I'm not going to lie, is because you get the campfire. This is a great looking little piece, and they even give you the fire effect to go on top of it. Now me being me, what I would love to do is get a small little LED just to pop inside there. So when you pop it on the actual display, Ooh, like that. How does it actually fit on? Does it fit on any certain way? Oh, there we go. So when you pop the fire effect on, it would glow. I would love that. I know, I'm going to try and do that. And then, then I'll have it on my uh, shelf, and I'll probably never, never, ever take it down, because it's going to go nicely on there. It looks cool as well to have a campfire. Um, you know, it's, it's a nice little piece to have. And I can imagine that being like on my display forever, a little campfire. I can just stand figures around it and have figures sat around it and things. It's a cool diorama piece to have. So liking that. I'm just trying to get it to stand up properly. I don't know which way it's meant to go on or whether I've got the firewood upside down, maybe. I don't know. Does the firewood even come out? Oh, the firewood's actually fixed in. So that doesn't actually come out. Have seem to find a way to sit it. Maybe like that. Give it a little push on. Kinda. I don't know. I'll play with that off camera. But anyway, uh, we've also got to change the head on Jason. So let's pop this one off, and then we get the big old. We got the big old blue, old school thing here. Then we just pop this other head on, just like so. So you can have the uh, sort of unmasked morbid looking jason head as well this is before before he turns all gnarly this is well he's still a little bit humanoid so to speak but obviously later on we get the much more evil looking jason heads but this is this one's nice i'm gonna have him as the bag face killer and rather than the unmasked head i will be using him like this on my display now i do already have a jason on display i tend to use i've got my uh freddy versus jason figure is what i is my go-to jason um but it's nice uh, to have like an earlier jason in the collection as well i'm not i've got a couple of others that I, I wasn't too bothered for like i got the jason um you know the oh what's, what's it called the um not jason takes manhattan jason lives or something it's that one it's that you know that 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 one that they did and i've got a couple of others but this, this one by far is, is one of my favorites now, I wish there was a way of actually holding the severed head. There's a little bit of hair there, but it doesn't lift up or anything. So it can't really slot into his hand to have him hold a head. I want to see if I could get Jason to hold the head like this, you know what I mean? But I can't. Then again, he wouldn't do that because it's his mum's head, I don't think. I don't think he ever depicted up or anything in the films. Mummy's got something she wants you to do. <laughs> but there's the uh, severed head of Pamela Voorhees. And we're gonna, of course, stick his trusty machete in his hands, his weapon of his weapon of choice throughout many a movie, which is gonna be a bit challenging than I thought. I think. Yeah. Pull open his hand a little bit and pop that in. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Awesome. Guys, let's head on down to the desk cam where you guys can get an up close personal look at this awesome, awesome action figure. So let's head on down to the desk cam. So guys, here he is out of the packaging and he, like I say, he is awesome. It's a very cool looking fig. And I do like this one a lot. I like, like, like the fact that we can get the machete 
So up above his head, like he's charging at someone with it drawn up. Like I say, I just wish I could find a way to get him to hold and miss his Voorhees' head. I'm sure there's got to be a way. But um, it's very cool. I call the gnarly hanging nasty bits at the bottom. That kind of very cool. This can be used for many different displays as well. It doesn't really overly, you know, it just it's just a, it's just a head. I mean, you could have you could have that with um, what's he called? You could get uh, Ash from Evil Dead to hold it like it's a severed zombie head, or it could fit in many collections. So, but I love I do love having this. I want to create the little I want to recreate the little shrine with the table and the candles, and then put the, the head on it. That's kind of what I want to do. It's kind of iconic from the film and obviously from the, the, the video game as well. That's kind of like the thing you always see when you play as Jason. And the figure itself, like I say, is very cool, very nice, and uh, just an awesome all-around version of the character. And just to give you uh, another quick look at that other alternate head sculpt there, that's what that one looks like once again. I don't think I'm going to use this one. This is going to probably go in my fodder box now. But yeah, all these accessories are awesome. We've got all blood-soaked accessories, including the big spear. We've got a pitchfork, pickaxe, which has got a nice big blood splatter on it. And of course the carving knife, which like I say, I like the fact that I've now got a carving knife with a bit more rusty look to it, so I can put that with Michael. And then of course that severed head. Very cool, nice figure. 45 quid right now, available on, uh, on Amazon's website. I will leave a link in the description. Like I say, that is an affiliate link, as is the other links down there. But it does support the channel, so if you want to help me out and support the channel by buying through those links, it doesn't cost you anything extra, but it does support me. Let's head on back to the main cam, though, and finish off this video. So, guys, how are you spending your Friday the 13th? Let me know in the comments down below. I am about to get ready uh, to sit down to a movie marathon of Jason movies. I'm excited. It's Friday the, th the 13th, and I hope you guys are going to have a fun Jason day, too. <laughs> guys, thank you very much for watching. As always, I'm your host, Soupstar, and I'll see you in the next video. But until then, keep it creep.